all right guys welcome back to k dropping gems hi how are you april 2.0 guys career and love so this will be sun moon rising second fifth and seventh house for your career and finances and i'll also be pulling cards for your love all right for each of the signs go ahead and timestamp below lovelies Time step in the comments. How are you? I want to thank all my new and returning subscribers. I greatly appreciate it. All the new returning subscribers, the comments, the likes, the shares. I love you guys so, so much, guys. Let's go ahead and get it started. Let's see what signs I'm doing today. So I will be doing Aries, Taurus, Capricorn, Sagittarius, and Libra. All right. So let's see what is going on. Aries. Happy birthday, Aries, now until the end of April 2019, April 30th, so now April 16th until April 30th, 2019 for Aries, Aries. All right, so Aries, I definitely feel like there's a calm I'm getting there's some type of calm after the storm or you guys can be going through some type of storm. Um, either you've already been through it, you're going through it, or you will be going through it. Whatever this is, I definitely feel like um, it's to allow your strength, it's to allow you to, it's like a test, okay? You guys can be, could have been being tested here by friends, family, people around you as well. I definitely feel like anything that you're trying to get get get, um, get off the ground, okay, it's just going to be me needing to plan. I'm just getting um, planning and time frame like divine time and going by divine time and making sure you're not overworking yourself or doing things that are um that you may regret here okay you might also be feeling like um towards the end of the month you're trying to put pieces together i'm just seeing like pieces of a puzzle so i feel like you're trying to get your life back in order you're trying to find stability found your your foundation grounding as well okay aries is also what i'm hearing i feel like you're there's gonna be people around you or there's friends around you that just that can help you um or you can be asking for help here okay so definitely um ask for help from your friends they'll be able to assist you in where you're trying to go all right so aries career and finances aries for april 16th through 30th april 16th through 30th 2019 aries sun moon rising second and fifth house what information do i have for my aries sun moon rising guys april 16th through 30th 2019 for career and finances all right spirit what's going on aries okay Alrighty. So Aries, your overall energy, the hair font. Okay, so I feel like in your career and finances, you're definitely asking yourself what what do you value, what's important to you. You're also trying to go and um trying to go by traditions, or you might be trying to rebel against traditions as well for some of you. Others of you are asking what how much is A, B, and C important to me? All right, regarding your career and finances, I definitely feel like there's a emotional, emotional coming together, okay? It can be maternal figures. This is feminine energy. So aunts, cousins, sisters, grandmas, okay? People are coming together. I feel like you're definitely feeling balanced or you're balancing your emotions here. I feel like you're definitely guarded with your finances or you're not sharing your finances here, okay? I definitely feel like whatever you're going into with your career and finances, it's making you more emotionally happy and people around you like your mother, your cousins, your friends, who have you, um, or any feminine energy. It could be a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, a Sagittarius, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, all right, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. So water and earth is very strong in your um, career spirit area, so I definitely feel like you're being balanced. You're being balanced, tempered. You're trying to figure out which way to go. Um, and you're guarding yourself. Like, you're not sharing your finances because you're trying to figure out which way is best for me here. You do see that you focusing on your foundation or your stability moving forward. Trying to move forward here is your best bet. I do feel like you have a lot of tasks, responsibilities. Or you might be taking care of a lot of people. I feel like you're trying to... Um, 
someone's trying to come in with a message or you might be trying to um, send a message to someone here or someone could be trying to send a, send a message to you but I feel like it's falling on deaf ears you might have blocked communication but I do see that emotionally you're trying to figure you're trying to figure out if I go towards this career path, if I told you to choose this job, choose this career, if it's going to be emotionally stable, if I'm going to be having to go through what I need, what I've been going through here, okay? I definitely feel like Aries, there's a need for you to let go or walk away. From, this can be walking away from a job, walking away from an old way of doing things here with money making that leads you to abundance or leads you to being abundant here, okay? So I feel like something that you're walking away from in your career or in your finances field, it leads you to being abundant, but I do feel like you're having to communicate or you're try trying to figure out how to communicate um, that you want money or that you want this 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 raise, this promotion here for some of you. Others of you, I feel like you're walking away from a, a, a job here, maybe because you're not speaking right, or maybe the communication is off, or something is not harmonious or balanced or peaceful, okay? I definitely feel like you you guys are definitely walking into abundance after expressing how you feel. I definitely feel like communication is going to be key for you guys now until the end of the month when it comes to your career and finances, all right? So I definitely feel like letting go of what you need to, Aries, is the main thing here, all right? So Aries, Aries, go ahead and timestamp. This is you and your boo love reading, okay? Aries, you and your boo love reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Aries, you and your boo. What's going on, guys? What's going on, guys? So... All right, guys. So I definitely feel like there is some interference or there's some type of distraction, Aries, okay? So Aries, there's definitely some type of distraction that you guys are definitely dealing with or interference when it comes to love. So Aries, you and your boo, what's going on now until the end of April 30th? Again, this is Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Aries, all right? Okay, so Aries, I definitely feel like your overall energy is deception or you're trying to figure out um, there's some type of change, changing your relationship due to some, some type of deception or due to someone lying, cheating, sneaking, doing, um, doing something behind someone's back here. There's... There's an unhappiness. Someone is unhappy and they're having to choose whether they should stay or go in a relationship. Okay, Aries? I definitely feel like it has you being unfocused or whoever... Whoever is um, usually knowing what they want or knowing which way to go, they're, they're not unfocused here. I feel like emotionally they're releasing and control my way or no way. They're not trying to control the situation. This has them unfocused here, okay? I feel like plans that someone was trying to get off the ground or trying to um, maybe travel, travel towards you or you traveling towards someone. Or maybe this is just some type of planning to get up to get with someone or to to get to another level with someone i feel like it's not working or it's not planning planning out the way that you need to i definitely feel like there's logical decisions or there needs to be logical decisions that are being made here okay because there's blessings that are not being there's blessings that are not being seen when it comes to a relationship because of a third party situation or someone um giving their time energy and effort money to two different people as well and i feel like that can be the reason why someone's not seeing the blessings here because there's another party or there's another person involved in the situation all right all right guys so that was aries capricorn Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising. This is for Capricorns. Go ahead and timestamp below. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising. Capricorns. Sun, Moon, Rising. This is for the second and fifth house of your career and finances, Cappy. Career and finances, Cappy. Second and fifth house, Capricorn. All right, what's going on for April 16th to April 30th, 2019? Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising. Second and fifth house, career and finances. All right. All right, so you guys are emotionally, let's see what's going on here. Okay, so King of Cups flew out. So I feel like you guys in your career in finances, Capricorn, you guys are emotionally stable or you guys are wanting to be more grounded, stable. You're trying to, or you're understanding 
how to be emotionally stable when it comes to your finances, how to not think of lack. Okay, this is someone, you see how serious he is? He's serious, but he's also understanding here, okay? So I feel like a lot of you guys are definitely understanding King of Cups is someone emotionally listening to self. They're, they're listening to self. They know which way they want to go. They know where they're trying to put their pentacles or their time, their effort, their energy, okay? Definitely, there's a new opportunity in love. There's definitely a, a, a financial windfall, major coins, abundance. This is new um, clientele coming to your business. If you guys are entrepreneurs, if you guys are... Um, have your own small business or your own hobby here this is definitely like a new way of doing things a new idea or a new job or like i said this is just money new clientele new people coming to your business here okay i definitely feel like a relationship this can be a work relationship where two people not seeing eye to eye not having the same vision or not expressing themselves the way that they need to okay i feel like someone doesn't have the same vision as you and emotionally because the ace of pentacles and the ace of cups i feel like you guys are definitely getting the money you guys are definitely getting the financial stability security the emotional security from this position from this job from what you're doing here ace and ace is 11 so i feel like your intuition is guiding you you're being guided here when it comes to your career and finances capricorn okay i definitely feel like there's rest that needs to be taken you guys need to take rest um take the guiding aspects that you need to so you're not overworking yourself you guys are definitely liking the abundance or liking the what you created for self this is abundance this is you don't have to worry about finances period okay your wishes are being fulfilled you're feeling inspired here you're feeling very creative you're under the moonlight you can be listening to music or under the moonlight in nature getting divine downloads here that's going to push you to where you need to after this loss emotional loss of this can be a family member this can be emotional loss of someone trying to get over on you but it's definitely like some type of heartbreak or something some type of loss okay and I feel like it has you anxious or scared or up at night here. But I do feel like the the outcome is going to be justice. So I feel like there's a choice that is being made here. So Cappies, I definitely feel like in your career on finances you're getting your wish fulfilled you're getting your goals met where you're meeting your goals you're you're being abundant you're having the finances you're being emotionally fulfilled i do see that whatever heartbreak or whatever you're going through this can just be um something to test you or to test yeah, I just got it's something to test you, Cappies. So I feel like whatever um, heartbreak or whatever loss this is, and it has you up at night, don't be don't be fearful or worried or anxious, okay? Because losses, I feel like whatever this is, whether someone tried to get over on you or this is like an emotional loss of a family member or a loss of a job or a loss of something, I feel like you might be up wondering which way to go or what to do. Justice reverse, there's a decision already being made here, okay? And you're releasing, you're, you're getting out of your head and you're taking action. So I feel like this can just be someone feeling like they're not good enough or someone feeling like like their ego. Like when you do what you're supposed to, you might be hit with like emotional loss, a transition of a family or a friend or emotional loss where you like separate from someone, separate from a friend or something like that. And I feel like it's all testing you so that you could be who you need to be. Queen of Swords is knocking off and cutting off bullshit. People, places, things that are no longer serving you. So Cappy, I definitely feel like in your career and finances, you're doing a damn thing. You're working very hard. You're taking the rest that you need to any type of third party situation or any type of emotional heartbreak that you go through is just to test you and to allow you to really stand on top of your own 10 feet i mean two feet 10 toes down here all right so cappies let's see what's going on for your love cappies cappies sun moon rising you and your boo cappies for april 16th to 30th april 16th to april 30th 2019 cappy sun moon rising and venus all right sun moon rising and venus for cappies what's going on in love sun moon rising and venus and cappies april 16th through 30th 2019 all right so let's see what's going on here okay so your overall energy is the knight of wands reverse i feel like someone um stopped putting work into something stop putting action into something someone wanted to come towards someone really fast i feel like now they're not wanting to do that either you or someone else the action the time the passion is not the same here as well okay i do feel like someone's very abundant this feminine energy i feel like is very abundant venus and capricorn if you don't have a venus and capricorn this is just you know just 
but again it's the sun moon rising venus and capricorn okay guys so i definitely feel like there's very there's abundance there's abundance there's longevity i feel like you guys are very are feeling very lucrative very um self-sufficient you guys are very lo loving the place that you're in financially like where you are the money that you're getting how you're creating the money um you're self-sufficient here okay i feel like there's communication that's been blocked or someone has cut off communication and this may have caused the relationship to not see eye to eye or someone is wondering why a relationship isn't seeing eye to eye here i do feel like um someone has stopped putting passion action into something here I do feel like the chariot, this can be also cancer. I said, I definitely feel like someone is pulling back. So I feel like you are, you're pulling back your energy here. You're manifesting what you want. Okay. You know that you can manifest love or you can manifest a new opportunity in love. And I feel like this might make you unhappy strength reverse or someone is feeling unhappy due to, due to either someone someone's feeling unhappy because his relationship didn't work out and it's causing them to have to stand up for themselves or stand up for what they want what they wish what they feel love is commitment partnership here okay there's definitely new energy around venus and capricorns and you guys are definitely um try not to even though this this might be new energy you guys might be trying to figure out how to um, maneuver how to go ahead and get what you want or how to manifest what you want here i do feel like there just needs to be time to self-reflection here to try and figure out what makes you happy this new energy that you're going into how you're going to stand up for yourself the queen of wands is definitely very passionate has a lot of um abilities here as well so i definitely feel like in your love relationships cappies you're very abundant you have the finances you're set you're financially secure whatever relationship isn't working out it's kind of opening up um either some type of it's opening up reflection it's opening up you to sit back and look at what type of love you want because you're unhappy and you do know there's new energy around but i do feel like someone is having to speak out but i do feel like there's a leo that's very prominent or profound that's very protective over you or you're very protective over them all right All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and do Taurus. All right. Taurus, April 16th through 30th, 2019. Go ahead and timestamp Taurus. Career and finances. What information do I have for my Taurus? Career and finances. All right, second and fifth house Taurus. Sun, moon, rising. April 16th through 30th, 2019. Taurus. Okay. Alright, so Taurus, definitely making logical decisions when it comes to your career and finances. You guys are letting go of a third party situation um, with business or a partnership that wasn't working out. There's some type of fear or um, resistance when it comes to change or letting go of something. I do feel like you guys are letting go of control, but I do feel like there's also some type of resistance or some fear regarding some type of change when it has to do with finances, foundation, or in order for you to be more abundant here, okay? I do feel like creatively, creatively you might be feeling like you don't know which way to go or how to create, or you might be trying to figure out why you're unable to create this might be a blockage in creation or you're feeling like there's a block in this creation but i do feel like there's unknown situations happening due to like divine timing due to something not going in your favor or it's like divine order here okay because of this resistance to change because something or someone was supposed to change or make some type of action to change here okay i do feel like there's juggling juggling two different businesses two different things two different choices here that has to do with your talents that has to do with um your creative talents as well someone can also be pregnant or this can be um a birth of your you're juggling a new a new birth of something a new birth of ideas a new birth of what you're trying to do, like a change in your career, a change in where you see yourself going for career here as well, okay? I definitely feel like there's... There's a means for someone to keep pushing forward with something, but I do feel like someone is feeling... Uh, 
like held back in a way i do feel like this can also be self-deception you guys can be self-deceiving yourself but i definitely feel like if this is your creative talents you're juggling these two things and you're trying to figure out how to birth how to make something new out of something okay is what i'm hearing the six of swords is definitely um releasing releasing trying to release defensiveness trying to not be so defensive in communication as well all right, so I feel like for your career and finances, there's definitely some changes that are needing to happen in order for you guys to be abundant. Um, this birth, this rebirth, this newness that's coming in, I definitely feel like you guys are needing to take a break and to like really think about everything that you're wanting to go forward into so you're not either burdening yourself or biting off more than, than you can chew or saying things that you can do and you know that you can't, okay? So that's for some of you. All right, Taurus love, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for April 16th through 30th, 2019. Taurus, what information do you have at this time, Taurus? Taurus. One more shuffle, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, April 16th through 30th, 2019. All right, so you guys, so towards you that you guys can definitely be dealing with a Capricorn, okay? Because Capricorn got the same spread, strength reverse. Your overall energy, Taurus, um, for your love is definitely someone being unhappy or trying to find your happiness, unhappy with a situation, unhappy with a Leo. A Leo could be a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, strong earth and strong water, okay? Or like I said, it could be a Leo sign, but um. There's definitely communication that's being blocked. Someone's cutting off communication because they're seeing that relationship isn't working out or it's not seeing eye to eye. Um, the same passion, affection is not being given. This can be energy, time, um, text messages, phone calls, whatever it is. You're not receiving the same thing. And I feel like someone's feeling happy, um, being more abundant or focused on their finances, focused on their foundation or what they've um, gained, gathered for self as well. I do feel like there's an emotional connection or there's emotional fulfillment when it comes to your finances or when it comes to something here two of cups so i feel like there's a relationship the four of wands and the two of cups came out so i feel like there was a relationship that was that was dead dead for over like two three years this was a long like you knew this person from a long time so i feel like that that didn't work out because someone didn't express themselves or this wasn't seeing eye to eye another relationship um that you were trying to work on i feel like can be emotionally fulfilling but i feel like you guys have to express them yourselves or emotions are not being expressed two people are not wanting to express their emotions okay i do feel like at the end um your outcome the king of cups is someone being emotionally stable emotionally secure so i feel like you're very fine you're fine with your abundance you're fine in your own solitude and you're finding your own space tourists for some of you others of you i definitely feel like you guys are definitely focused on your foundation your finances and your emotional um like your self-worth your self-confidence your self-esteem as, as well building your self-esteem back up because i see the two and the four so this relationship had taken a toll on you two to four years two to two to four months here Okay, but I definitely feel like this has happened for a long time or this this relationship was unrequited here. Okay, so I feel like that for some of you guys, that's why you guys moved forward and started focusing on your abundance or focusing on your emotional stability. All right. All right. Sagis. Sun, moon, rising. Second and fifth house, Saggy, Sun, Moon, Rising. Second and fifth house, April 16th through 30th, 2019. Saggy's April 16th through 30th, 2019. April 16th through 30th, 2019. Sun, Moon, Rising. Second and fifth house, Saggy, Saggy's. All right. Let's see what's going on. Okay.
So I definitely see there's inspiration. Your ideas are coming forth. You're listening to what is needed here, okay? I feel like you're also listening to the ebb and flow, um, to how you feel about certain things. The Nine of Cups is also inspiration, ideas that's coming to you in the moonlight, in nature, outside here, okay? Let's see. So I feel like, yeah. Another sign got these same cards. So, Saggy, for your career and finances, I definitely feel like there's a heartbreak or there's some type of emotional loss. Um, and I do see that it may have you up at night or worried about something. But I do see that you are fine. You are lucrative. You are stable. You're liking the... the you're liking what you created, like the new stability, the new um, life that you created for self. So I feel like whatever heartbreak you're going through is just to test your ego is what I'm hearing because the moon reverse, I feel like it's your subconscious emotions with fears, anxiety, when you know that you're doing what you're supposed to. But this loss, I feel like this loss with this worry is for you to see that you're right where you're supposed to be. You're doing right. You're doing what you're supposed to do. You're on the right path. Okay. So I feel like whatever emotional loss you are enduring with your career and finances you're on the right path you're being very lucrative abundant you're listening to self you're listening to your intuition this can also be three of swords is like um like a heartbreak or something like that you find out okay and i feel like even though it may have you like up and trying to figure out what what is what you're still being very abundant you're still being very um, patient, lucrative as well. Okay, so there's rest that's needed. There's new opportunities. Like I said, a new idea of making money, a new job. This is clientele. Many people that's coming towards you here. Capricorn got the same the same energy for career and finances. So I definitely feel like you guys are listening to what you need to. There's there's emotional balance, emotional stability, emotional financial security here. New money, windfalls of money. You guys are definitely loving the abundance that you're in. Where what you're creating for self and. I I feel like you guys are cutting off communication or not um not putting time and energy into things that you know is no longer serving you here all right so i definitely feel like saggy there's choices that are being made there's choices that are being made here i definitely feel like you're getting out of your head you're getting out of being stuck or feeling stuck here as well i do feel like you guys are moving forward listening to self listening to um what you need to you're cutting off people places things that are no longer serving you habits people places harsh things you're you definitely are moving forward like i said you're moving out of being stuck you may have realized that you were the person that was getting yourself stuck or this can be communication where people around you um this can be like self-deception or self-sabotage this is like you realizing wow like I was so sabotaging myself this whole time or this can be realizing that the people around you isn't really beneficial for you and I feel like you might be cutting people off here people places things I do feel like you're letting go like I said you're moving on from the past from past from the lack thereof when it comes to finances and you're understanding that rest is needed you might you are also realizing like to take the god and goddess breaks takes the breaks that you need to okay the queen of pentacles the verse talks about a mother king of pentacles comes up so this is definitely a relationship i feel like there's a partnership that's coming towards you and i feel like someone is not someone there's no bound there's not a balance with finances that's literally what i'm hearing someone is very abundant and someone isn't i feel like someone is trying to make you feel like you shouldn't go into something here but i definitely feel like you should don't listen to anyone when it comes to your dreams your goals and where you feel like you should go okay whether this is a relationship a mother a mother a maternal figure here okay there's like an upset or there's some type of imbalance with finances here but i do feel like that's because you're doing what you're supposed to you're focused you're focused on what you need to okay the nine of pentacles reverse i feel like someone is being creative someone is being creative learning what new ways to be creative also doesn't like um, they're trying to really move or they're trying to figure out how to manifest something to get A, B, and C with their finances. And I feel like this this person is trying to create something, but I feel like there needs, there's some type of waiting or there's something that, that has to go on before they really get this blessing or they get this, this abundance or they get this travel or whatever this is, okay? I definitely feel like you guys are moving forward from harsh entities 
removing yourself from people, places, things, drugs, over, over, um, like codependency, things like that, things that are no longer serving you, ways, thought processes, emotions, ways of being in career and finances as well. And I do feel like the nine of wands is then you start realizing, you start realizing you're having a, a realization, okay, that you don't, that when it comes to something here, that when it comes to cutting things off, this may interfere or some of it may be trying to interfere with your business for some of you guys. This masculine energy, someone around you in your in your uh, energy, someone's trying to mess up your finances or someone is like someone's jealous as well as also when I'm hearing nine of wands of verse, I feel like you're very passionate about something and I feel like now you're trying to figure out where your passion should go, where you should put your passions. This can also be you're having like this reflection period of your passions of what's, what's passionate to you here, okay? Because I do feel like your finances are growing. You're really going to the next level. I do feel like there's people around you that's really trying to revert you back to your old ways because they see that you're growing, you're elevating, you're not the same person. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. All right. Let's see what's going on, guys. 